Hello. Hey everyone, it's Kirsten here and welcome to my first card making video. Today I'm going to be making four simple, very uniform looking Christmas cards. Uh, so I already pre-cut some small pieces of paper to put on the front of these glitter pieces of paper. And I've also already got all my card bases ready. Alright, so the stamps I'm going to be using today are Away in a Manger by Hello Bluebird. I'm also going to use Fleece Navidad by um, My Favourite Things. I've got the little Winter Otter stamp set by Lawn Fawn with one little coloured image from uh, the colouring challenge and I've also got Here We Go a Waddling by Lawn Fawn. I already uh, stamped out all my images using Memento Tuxedo Black ink and my stamping block. So I'm going to start colouring up all my images using my Copic markers. Now, for all the colors of Copic markers that I used, I'm going to leave them listed down below in the description box, along with which image used which Copic markers. So you can take a look at that. So my coloring process is generally to start with the darkest color first, or the darkest shade rather. I also put out my glitter card stock there so that I could decide which images to put on which color card base and then I could match the colors there. So as I was saying, when I'm coloring in an image, I usually start with the darkest shade first. I lay that down in all the areas where there, where there will be a shadow and then I move up to the lightest color, uh, always going over the area that I've already colored in so that the colors will blend together very nicely. So I've colored in my first little otter holding the candy cane he, with my brown Copic markers and I've given him a navy blue scarf. Then for the second otter I'm using my favorite uh, collection of Copic markers that give uh, the images a nice white look. So these are the W range of Copic markers and as I said it makes the image look white but with some character. I'm going to give the white otter a little green scarf and you can see there sometimes when I'm not really sure which color combination or uh, which combination of shades of Cop Copic markers will go well together I just swatch them out on a scrap piece, piece of paper beforehand. Now I'm going to move on to the angels. Um, I quite like how I get a nice gold look on the halos of the angels. I do that by using a YR marker and then combine that with a Y marker and that the difference in tone from the YR to the Y makes it look nice and shiny. Uh, I'm going to color up the angel on the left there but I end up not using this angel because I didn't like how I colored her hair. Uh, the hair I tried to go for a blonde look but it just looked like straw so you'll see after a little bit I've stamped another angel and I've colored her in the same way as the first one and I've also obviously colored in the angel on the right that you see now. I colored in her exactly the same way as the angel I'm busy coloring in now, aside from the hair. All right, now I'm going to go on to the llama. This uh, set, like I said, it's called Fleece Navidad by uh, My Favorite Things and it's possibly my favorite uh, Christmas stamp. I really like the little llamas, but I also really think that the sentiment Fleece Navidad is very clever. So I'm going to make my llama brown and like I said, start with the darkest tone in the places where you would find shadow and then build up to the lightest tone. Now sometimes the lightest tone I find especially with the brown, my brown markers, um, it doesn't blend as well. So what you just have to do is go back to the previous shade, 
color in a bit more of the area and then go over it with the lightest marker again and then you'll get a really good blend. If my uh, workspace looks a little bit chaotic, it's because I was tr uh, rushing to make these cards in time for a family gathering. So I was getting a little bit stressed out, and that's why you'll see all my Copic markers like splayed across the desk. But I'm happy to say that all the cards were made in time for the party. I'm trying to use some traditional Christmas colors, so mostly primary colors and plus green. Uh, I think that they will then go well with uh, the green cardstock, which I'm going to use for the background. And yeah, so now that the llama's been colored up, I'm going to color in the three little penguins. You can see that once again I was swatching colors at the top to make sure that I would have a blend from the darkest shade to the lightest shade. Now this is my favorite combination to color in penguins. I know these are not traditional Christmas colors, but I think that they look adorable and I mean they're already um, dressed up in their Christmas garb, so I don't think it matters too much what colors you use. But yeah, so the color combinations I'm using are uh, the, it's, wait, what's it called? Uh, the BV uh, Copic Collection. And that's like a lavender uh, tone. Then I'm going to color their beaks and their feet with yellow. And I'm going to finish off with the BG Collection. Yes, I just have to remember what each of these are called. But yeah, so the combination of the lavender and this aquamarine almost tone I think it's it's a stunning like color combination and I really enjoy using that for penguins especially I'm also going to finish off the last little details with some cool grays as you will see in a little bit now All right, so the coloring's all finished and now it's time to cut out all my images. So you can see here that um, I've also put foam on the back of all my images just to pop them up a bit and give them some dimension. I'm gonna put some double-sided tape on the back of the smaller white pieces and then place them in the center of the glitter cardstock. There you can see all the finished card bases. Now it's time to put all the images on. So what I wanted to do um, for all of the cards is make a custom background using some of my smaller stamps. But I was not very smart and so I should have stamped the uh, little images on the background before I glued the white pieces of paper to the glitter cardstock. But I forgot to do that so now I'm going to have to use a scrap piece of paper on the edges of the, the white cardstock just so that I don't accidentally stamp on the glitter cardstock. So the first uh, card I'm going to be using the llama and I'm using little present stamps that is from the Lawn Fawn Plan On It stamp set. It's a very versatile stamp set. I don't actually use it for planning but I do like all the little images that came with the stamp set. going to add one more little present to the side there. All right. So, now that every now that the background is ready, I'm going to stamp my sentiment onto some white cardstock and I'm going to use my tux ah, my memento tuxedo black ink for that. I'm going to 
stamp it down and then go off and trim it down with my guillotine. The sentiment reads, have a lovely Christmas, with two L's of course, because it's a llama. I'm going to use some of my foam to prop up the sentiment. Had a little bit of trouble, the foam was making the paper curl um, like concavely. I don't know if that's the right word, but it was making it curl around a bit, so I had to just straighten it out a bit. Okay, now I'm going to use just some ordinary paper glue to glue down my images. And once they're off screen, I'm going to actually put my stamp block on top of the images to make sure that they dry flat. And that is the first card done. Okay, now moving on to the second card. This one, I'm going to use the two little angels. Then I'm going to use two different sizes of stars. The first, or the larger of the stars, is from the Lawn Fawn Plan on its stamp set. And then the smaller of the star, ah, the smallest of the stars, I haven't spoken this long in ages. Um, yeah, the, so the smallest of the stars comes from the Hello Bluebird Away in a Manger stamp set, the same one that the Little Angels came from. So I'm going to stamp that. I'm using Distress Oxide inks. Uh, they are the only inks that I have that aren't black. So uh, some people say that they don't stamp as well or the ink from those stamps doesn't stamp as well as uh, other types of ink, but I find it works pretty well, especially for smaller images. I'm going to use a sentiment from the Away in a Manger stamp set, and this one reads Christmas Blessings. Yes, I can see it now. For this one, I'm not going to uh, use my guillotine to cut it out. I'm going to cut around the letters so that it, I maintain that nice scripty, free-flowing look of the sentiment. So I'm just cutting that out with my scissors. And I'm going to pop that up on some foam as well. The foam I'm using is just from a large sheet of foam that I bought from my craft store. It's got adhesive on one side and then I can use my glue on the other side. Okay, I'm just uh, sticking down the sentiment and the two angels, and now I'm going to move to the next card. This is the third card. I'm going to be using the little, there's two little music notes, uh, or, well, three quavers in total, but there's two music note stamps that come with the Here We Go Waddling stamp set. So I'm going to use those to stamp all around the penguins. And I'm trying to get it so that it doesn't look uneven on the one side. So I'm going to keep stamping these images until I'm happy with how it looks. I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says, we wish you a Merry Christmas. And I like that it's in a wavy, uh, what's that word? It's like in a wavy shape so that it looks like the penguins are actually singing it. One more little music note. And then I'm going to glue down the little penguins. So that's card number three done. And now I'm going to move on to the last card, which I'm going to use the two little otters on. Now I'm going to use the sentiment that says have an utterly Merry Christmas and what I want to do is print, uh, not print, <laughs> wrong hobby, uh, I'm going to stamp the top two lines in black and the middle line in red. So I'm just lining it up so that I make sure I have enough space. Then I'm going to stamp 
have an Merry Christmas in the black and then I'm going to switch to my red Distress Oxide ink which is Candied Apple and I'm going to stamp the Otterly. I will also leave a link to the um, Distress Oxide colors that I used uh, so that you can also you know, see which colors I used for the background stamping. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Octopi My Heart stamp set by Lawn Fawn and excuse all the little colored images from the 30 day coloring challenge I did and I'm going to use the bubbles from that stamp set. So the larger, there's a larger stamp with three bubbles and then there's a smaller one with two, no, one bubble. Sorry, there's one bubble on that stamp. And I'm just going to stamp them all around. So not the most traditional theme for a Christmas card, but I quite like that these little Christmas otters are um, underwater and wishing you a Merry Christmas. I'm going to glue those down with my paper glue. And once they're properly aligned, this card is finished. Okay, so here's a look at the four cards that I made today. Got the green one with the llama, the purple one with the penguins, a red one with the angels, and another red one with the otters. I'm going to show you some still images of each of the cards now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to recreate any of these cards, please feel free. They are very fun to make. And... Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.